So surprisingly, I did not go to any craft stores this past weekend, but I did go to some other stores and I found some stuff there. So I had gone to Dollar Tree because I needed to get some of this uh, confetti sequins. I'm going to be making some shaker gift card holders for a couple people, some friends, their kids are graduating this year, so I'm going to make those for them. Then I found two packs of these sequins in these colors. Those are the only two colors they had. I did find the rest of the washi tape that I didn't have, surprisingly as well. And I also got some of these paint brushes to try out. I'm not confident in them that much. I mean, they were only a dollar, but you can always use paint brushes for mixed media type stuff. So give those a try. And then last thing from there was this washi tape in this rain cloud pattern. I've never seen that one before, so I thought that was cute. So then over at Target in their dollar spot, I finally picked up these scissors that I've been looking at for the past couple months and just finally decided to buy them. Got these page flags and this pattern. I don't know why I keep buying these. These aren't the greatest. They don't stick very well. I usually have to put some um, tape on them to hold them down, but I just like the patterns on them. I think they're pretty. And then I got this pen set. Got these pencils more for the colors um, than what's written on them. I don't know why they have things written on them. There's like notes, thoughts, curiosities, and some other things written on them, but I thought those were pretty colors. And I picked up two of the note cards and the thank you and hello. Also got two more bottles of Mod Podge to put in my little travel kit. And then I got this pack of moleskin, moleskine, moleskin, however you pronounce it. I've heard it said all three ways and I still don't know how which one's the correct way, so I don't know. Maybe someone can let me know. Uh, but just a pack of three ruled journals for my Midori. Also from there I got this bag and I'm not going to open it up because I've already got it packed. I'm going to show you in my next video what I have in it. But this was from Target and it's Ashley Mary. And it was kind of neat because the designer is actually a mixed media artist. So I thought this bag was really pretty. And it holds, this is going to be my uh, travel art kit when we are on the road this summer. Just with my favorite art supplies in them. So my next video I will show you what's inside of it. Then I also went to Marshalls and only found two of the snap items. This pack of paper tape. You get 288 pieces. It's basically you get two of each color that are in here. And then this set of interactive elements. You get set 17 pieces and they look like that. And then finally from Meyer, I got this other set of cardstock shapes and stickers. This is like a watercolor. I hadn't seen this one before. So that is it for the stuff that I bought and then yesterday I did a bit of crafting and if you follow me on my new Instagram which is craftymom24cs I started a new one just for my crafts so some people got a sneak peek of what I was working on yesterday and it's a Mother's Day gift for my mom so this is what it looks like it's kind of long to fit in the frame but uh, I saw this idea on Pinterest. A woman had used a two liter soda bottle to make the petals. Well, I tried it with a smaller bottle because this canvas was smaller um, and it didn't work out so well. So I went through my stash of flowers and I can't find it now. Oh, here it is. I went through my stash of foam stance and found this flower which I thought was perfect so I used that to stamp the petals on painted the branch and then down here if you've been with me for a long time I've talked about before my middle name is Sakura 
And so, which means cherry blossom in Japanese. My mom is Japanese. So I painted this for her and then looked up online how to write it. And this is the kanji um, spelling. I, I'm hoping. <laughs> I just typed it in Google and that's what it came up with. So it'll be interesting to see when I give it to her if that's exactly, if that's in fact what it says. Otherwise, I don't know what I wrote on there. So, but that is for her for Mother's Day. And I have a couple other gifts for her. She's the type that always tells us don't buy her anything. She's, if she needs something, she'll go out and buy it herself. So my brother and I never know what to get her for like holidays or birthdays or stuff like that. So she really likes when I make her handmade stuff. She always keeps my cards and things. So I thought this would be good to give to her and she can hang it up somewhere. But that's how that turned out. So that is it for this video. I will be back to share with you my art journal kit, uh, travel kit, show you what I've got packed in there and what I plan on taking with me when we're on the road. So stay tuned for that and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.